Hey everyone, it's Doodle, and it is time for another my watch post. So I have a ton of books to share with you guys this week. Um, four of them I ordered on Saturday from Books a Million because they had this super awesome sale going on. So I went ahead and purchased four books that should have been like 60 bucks total together for like 40. I got 10% off, $10 off, and member price, which was awesome. Um, so, yeah. Um, but what did I do this week reading-wise? I finished one book, and that was it. Um, I've been watching a lot of movies, and not sleeping, so... Yeah, that's about what I've been doing. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get into the books now. I won four total. Um, the first two I won from Trisha at Devoured Words. And the books that I've been dying to read, and um, I was really excited. And I ran across this bunch of giveaways from the author after I entered one of hers. And I, one of the entries was, like, the author's Facebook page, so I did. And then I go to her Facebook, and it's like she has post after post after post after post of giveaways for two of her books. And I was like, holy bejesus, so I entered all of them and I actually won one, which is cool. So I got a copy of Slammed and a copy of Point of Retreat, so books one and two of the series and I cannot wait to start them. I have been dying to read these so I'm really really stoked. Cannot wait. So I got these and I started bouncing and yeah. I tell you guys I bounce all the time but I, I honestly I do. I bounce and I squeal. It's fun. Then um, from Hope, Love, and Happy Endings I won an arc of Dying to Know You which um, I've been see I'd seen a lot about this back uh, in what April? Yeah, in April when the book came out, and I never actually got a copy of it, but I've been wanting to read it, so I'm really happy I have a copy now, and I'll be reading it soon. Then, over at uh, Wanted Readers, I won a copy of Matched, and I actually had a sample of Matched on my Nook last year, but um, I think I read a chapter and then put it down and got distracted by something and then never actually got to pick it back up and I never bought it. So I'm really happy I have a copy now. So I'll be reading this one very, very soon. Then, uh, gift stuff. I got three books for a gift. One of them was with my order from Books a Million the, the other day. My uh, dad transferred money into my account for the book, which is really nice of him. But I'll get to that story whenever I get to that book. So, um, the first two were from Rack, and I got Dark Kiss from Abby at Abby Ann's Bookland, and I sent her a book last month. This actually came on, um, October 31st, and I didn't have time to put it in my post until now, so thank you, Abby. Then, um, as usual, every month Michelle and I uh, switch books, so... This month, she decided to send me a copy of Alice in Zombieland, which I am totally stoked about. Granted, I'm not a huge fan of zombies, but I love Alice in Wonderland, and that totally, you know, made me want to read this book more than the whole zombie part of it. So, I'll be reading this one, and I cannot wait. And yay, I love Alice in Wonderland. Actually, there's a couple really awesome um, movies for this, or for Alice in Wonderland in general. Um, if you guys check out Alice... It's a sci-fi, it's like a four-hour movie, it was a mini TV series. That is awesome. Hatter is adorable, and ugh, I love it so much. I probably just need to buy it on DVD. I'm probably going to. So, now, the gift from my dad. Um, I texted him on Wednesday of last week, and I was like, hey, so will you buy me a book? It's military-related, and normally if you bring up anything with the military in my family, they're like, oh yeah, sure, totally. So, um... I texted him. He's like, yeah, send me the link and I'll go ahead and buy it for you. And I was like, well, if you order from Books A Million, you'll get free shipping with it. So, um, I completely forgot what email address I have my Books A Million account under and I couldn't get logged into it or I couldn't get him logged into it. So I came home and I ordered a copy and then Saturday rolls around and Books A Million is having this huge sale where you buy or, um, members get member price online plus 10% off plus um, free shipping. So I was like, awesome. And then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, I want to get this book and this book. And then I was like, wait a second. Will a promo code work also? So 10 off 50 promo code works. So I got like four kind of expensive books for like 40 bucks, which is awesome. Totally awesome. And free shipping. 
so stoked. So what book did I get? My dad got me my copy of Collateral by Ellen Hopkins. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to start this. Actually, I'm going to start it at Thursday night, but I didn't because I realized, hey, I'm reading three other books right now, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I really probably should have gotten some sleep, so I decided to watch a movie instead, and I fell asleep within 20 minutes of starting said movie. So I have a copy of Collateral now, and as soon as I'm done with the three books I'm reading now, along with um, my review book for December 3rd, um, Trapped, I'll be picking Collateral up, and I'll be reading it happily for about five hours, maybe six, just to finish this book. I'm just so excited. Cannot wait to start it. Then, um, the other books I ordered with that one would include Ellen's other adult book, which is Triangles. And I ordered Triangles in hardcover because I like the way Triangles is written on this instead of the paperback, because the paperback's just like straight across, kind of like her name. But I thought this was much prettier, and I love cover horror, so makes sense. So now I have her adult books, both of them, in hardcover, and I'm really excited to read them both. I cannot wait. And this um, Tilt book uh, for young adult that just came out is the companion to this one, which I can't read for a year until it comes out in paperback. But um, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I promise. So um, then I also bought myself my most, number one most anticipated book this year. Like I have a list of like 10 books, most of which came out already that were anticipated, like super, super anticipated. Well, I got my most anticipated, and I saw this cover originally online, I was like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. Then I saw it in store, I was like, oh my god, that is more gorgeous than gorgeous. Like, that is a stunning cover. So I have my copy of Cruel. I am so excited. Um, I will be reading this one after Collateral. So, um, cannot, seriously cannot wait. It's super gorgeous. I love this cover. It's so pretty. So... Yay. Then the fourth book I ordered is Kritura by uh, Nellie Cab. This book was recommended to me on Goodreads and it sounded really awesome. I visited the author's page and I found out that you can only get this book in like paperback or hardcover and it's either $25 for hardcover or $15.95 for the paperback. So I'm but like I told you I got the $10 off of $50 from Books Million, so I'm really saying I bought this book for six bucks. So, um, I'm really stoked. I uh, heard this book was awesome. Like, seriously awesome. So, I cannot wait to start it. And it'll be happening after I read Cruel. Go figure. So, the rest of the books I got. Um, the book I was reading last week that I finished this week. Um, I think I might have slipped up and told you guys about last week. I don't remember. But it is Deity. And before I tell you my thoughts on this book really quick, um, I really wasn't sure if I liked this cover because I wasn't sure what was going on here until I read the book. I, I couldn't figure out what it was. I know it was a, a body part of some sort and I thought it was like a shoulder and I was like how is that a shoulder that's like really awkward. Well when you get about halfway through the book it's kind of answered for you. It is a neck. That is Alex's neck. And then now that I know I'm like oh, okay that totally makes sense I'm totally okay with it. So now I really love this cover. So um, I read the book. I got to the last page, my jaw hit the floor. And I switched teams again, of course. So I switched from Team Seth back to, you know, Team Aiden. And I get to the last page. It's amazing. I'm like devastated. My jaw drops. And I read this page like seven, eight times. I'm just sitting here like, no. I could not, cannot, cannot wait until Elixir or Apollyon. And I'm like, oh my god. So now I'm dying to read. Um, Elixir, which I also will be getting around the 27th when it releases, and I'm, like, dying until then, because this book was fan frickin tastic like, seriously. If you have not started the series, I, I, one, don't take this the wrong way, but I kind of want to punch you in the face, because the series is awesome. Not that it actually punched you, but just, you know, yeah, so, you have to start the series if you haven't. It. It's totally worth it. Then, um, I also got myself a copy of A Witch in Winter, and this one, I could only find it for like 11 bucks everywhere I looked for it, and about three weeks ago, I happened to hop onto Fish Pond one day and saw it for four bucks. I was like, oh, so I ordered it, and I have it, and now I can't wait to read it, because I think it's what, a trilogy? So I got the first book, 
and I love the covers. I think they're pretty. So now I'll be starting it soon. Probably read it next month when there's actually snow here and whatnot. And the last one I got is the UK cover. And the reason I bought the UK is because the US covers changed, and I don't like the new US covers. I think they're kind of more boyish. Not a big fan of them. So, um, I got myself a UK cover of Blood Magic, and I originally wanted this book when it came out in the US, and I'm happy I didn't buy it then, because I'd have to switch covers and I wouldn't be a happy camper. So now I'm going to start buying the UK covers for this, and I think they're gorgeous. And I like that this is a white cover, more so than the black that it was originally. It's really cool. So, cannot wait to start this, because the second book just came out. So, that is everything I got this week. Literally, this is everything I got this week in the mail, except for um, Dark Kiss and Alice and Zombieland. So, um, well, and Deity. Everything else came in the mail this week. So, um, yeah, that's I'm pretty sure it for this week. As usual, if you check on the blog, you'll see links to the books to Goodreads and the people blogs I mentioned. Um, I hope everyone has a super duper fantastic week for those of us in the U.S. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Eat lots and lots of food, but please, dear Jesus, go exercise on Friday. You know, if it's shopping, go power shopping, please. Um, you know, don't eat a ton of food and then just sit down, because, yeah, it's not healthy. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone has an awesome week. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys next week. Doodles out! <laughs>